Hi there, this is Steve from Triple Dino. Um, I just wanted to take my strobes, the Inon Z330s, and show you the uh, response time using a basic trigger analog with my Ike Light housing and and my Nikon camera. So it's uh, it's just a real basic test and just so you can see the response times and uh, there's kind of the unit there. Uh, one of my batteries unfortunately is a little bit light but uh, we'll still be able, to, which is even better because then you'll be able to see what to expect when the battery starts to go and then the response time and recycle time on that is obviously longer. That's the biggest um, thing. You don't just run out of strobe. It just takes longer and longer and longer and longer until it's unusable. So the left one here is kind of unusable at this point. So it's actually makes for a so good So here's test. my camera and the back of my housing connected to the hot shoe and then the <coughs> cable, like light cable, <coughs> that connects to the uh, to the housing and this is the double Nikonos connector that goes out to the um, Inon Z330 in the analog connection. Now again, as mentioned before, this is uh, not uh, TTL so this is just a trigger and that's it. That's how that all fits together. So. Um, so that's the connector there. So the camera is going to trigger off the hot shoe, go into the electronics down here. Uh, there is TTL circuitry in there, but again, it's, we're not using any TTL here. This is just getting, it's kind of a waste, but that's just how this rig is set up. And, uh, and then just triggers out through the cords into the dual strobe. So I've just got it sort of Frankensteined here just for demo demonstration purposes. So what I can do here is just turn this on. And the red is the ready light here. That means it's ready to flash. And that came on pretty quick. So it's uh, got the charge inside the uh, strobe there pretty quickly because I just had it on. Otherwise, it would you could hear it, you know, rev up like you can with any other strobe but it I just was playing with it so it was pretty quick the same with this one's pretty quick too so I'm gonna put this one on automatic full same with this one this one's on automatic full as well and this one as well and then I'll just uh, flip the camera on here and so it's ready to go, and it doesn't have to go through the live view. Live view's turned off, so it's only through the optical, but I'm, I'm just doing this for, um, just so you can see how these things will restart, the difference in refiring. <clears throat> they're pretty quick strobes, but again, they're only as quick as those batteries will let them, because the batteries still have to get the juice into the, I, I'm not sure exactly what that, what that is, it's a, uh, transformer or whatever inside there that generates the electricity that feeds the strobe it gets all that collects all the energy for the for the flash but to get them ready so I'll fire this off so this will fire both of the strobes well it should have it looks like it didn't there let's see oh there we go I just didn't press it hard enough I guess or something so that took a couple of seconds. So I'll try it one more time. Here we go. They're very powerful, obviously, as you can tell. Um, so let's just go over to this one, see how quickly after a shot, it's pretty quick. And again, it's a function of how um, we're just triggering. So it's really basic. There's nothing fancy going on here. So uh, we're talking about on or off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's taken quite a while now. It's probably because of the charge. This one's back up and running again. There, this one finally came on. So the I don't know if that's the batteries or what that is. We'll try it one more time. Let's let's go back to this one and we'll just try a shot here. So 
I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this is obviously batteries. Yeah, twenty seconds for for the battery to come back. This one here might have stronger batteries. Let's give this one a shot here. So bang. See how quickly this one comes back. Oh yeah, so just a few seconds this one came back. So the batteries on the other one must be um, running low. So that's that's just batteries at this point. And this one still hasn't come back from that last shot. There we go, it just came on. So that's a 20 second and this one over here is three. And that is the, re the reason for that is batteries. And I'll just go to live view here right now. Um, actually, I'll just go through a couple. So bang, and then as soon as I get that light again, I can do it again. But of course, the other one's not going to fire. But um, okay, so it looks like uh, and it just popped on the screen. There, so now we're in live view. And I will... There we go. So we just fired it off there. You see there's some... A little bit more hunting going on here with the focus and so it's much slower process when you operate through live view than through the viewfinder. Through the viewfinder it's almost instantaneous. You can press that button as fast as you want. The strobes aren't going to catch up, you know, if you have... I'll turn the live view off here, so I'll just turn live view off and then with the camera itself we can we can just fire that as quickly as we want, but again, we're only going to get this thing firing. Based on, you know, three or four seconds there between each one because of the uh, the batteries. And this one here is going to take, is taking time. So that's basically how that, how that works and the timing that you get with this particular, with this particular set shots here so you can just see it top and I'll just uh, turn on the light here so you can turn on the there's a there's like a little focus light there so you can see there it just shut off but I f you know I think you can turn this turn this on down here such that you know, it can lock and it'll stay on. There we go. But I think it heats up. So this this is locked now. You can see that it's coming out of there. And this is what it, so that's about uh, four feet, four feet away from the, the light. So it actually goes kind of broad after about four feet. So that's quite a bit of light. That'd be enough. Now, Ion recommends you don't leave this on permanently. Some people were doing that and it was overheating or sucking the battery and overheating and that sort of thing. So you don't want it on permanently. Otherwise, if you turn this little knob off, you just twist it and then it pops up like that. Um, then it stays on just for a few seconds. There we go, and shuts off. So maybe that was 10 seconds.